On second July 4th road trip, first know that Ohio traffic deaths in one year have increased more than 100%. So Natasha Williams is live with a new safety plan teaming ODOT and Ohio State Patrol. Natasha? Well, Jack, signs like this one above the highway will carry statistics telling exactly how many people have lost their lives this year so far. And officials are hoping those statistics will save lives, and so does a Clark County mom. Ebony Baker says plans to use digital message boards across the state about traffic deaths is a good idea. Just like just the incident that's just happened with, you know, Tyree is like, they need to, what, they need to raise more awareness. This is a roadside memorial for Baker's 13-year-old son, Tyree King, who was hit and killed three weeks ago in this very spot just a few doors down from his home. Investigators say the driver, 71-year-old Charles Hurd, was drunk when he hit King. He was just indicted on two counts of aggravated homicide. Everybody know when they've drunk too much and it's done left a hole in all of our hearts that our son is not around anymore and their brother and it just, you know, really, it really hurts families, you know, when you lose a kid like that. It's just a matter of getting the public educated, letting them know that number. A lot of the public drivers think it can't happen to them. And maybe when they see that total, they'll say, well, that's a lot. This is the digital message board already in place here in Clark County, indicating 80 more traffic deaths this year in comparison to last. Statistics show traffic-related deaths in Clark and Champaign counties has more than doubled this year so far. OSP says fewer people are wearing seatbelts and more people are driving impaired. For Baker, although it won't bring Tyree back, anything that can help save someone else's life is worth trying. People need to think before they get in a car and drink and drive. Now, OSP and ODOT are hoping these signs will help people do just that, change their driver behavior, and hopefully change the deadly driver trends that are out there. Reporting live, Natasha Williams, Fox 45 News.